This is a performance evaluation for endotracheal suctioning using the open suction system. Step one follows standard precautions including hand washing. Obtains required equipment is step two that includes a suction kit that has a sterile catheter, sterile gloves, sterile basin. Uh, we also need sterile water, saline, uh, eye protection, and saline packets, stethoscope, and an oximeter may be valuable to use on the patient as well. Water-soluble lubricant may be beneficial. Most times that may not be necessary. Vacuum gauge and trap and set that between negative 80 and negative 120. Ch assembles and checks equipment for function. I have a negative 120 and I'm going to check the resuscitation bag with a disposable glove to assure that the bag is functioning. It's set at 15 liters per minute. Introduce yourself and identify the patient. Good morning, Mr. Smith. My name is Brenda, and I'm from the Respiratory Care Department. Can I just check your name, Ben, a minute? Thank you. I'm one of the respiratory therapists that's assigned this floor today, and so I will be coming in, checking on you, and suctioning as you need to. So before I get started, can I just listen to your lungs? Sounds a little bit gurgly in there. How about if I suction you while I'm here? I'm going to put this pulse oximeter on your finger. It's going to help me keep track of how you're doing. Positions the patient as indicated. You comfortable? Good. Need for suctioning has just been assessed. Hyperoxygenates and hyperinflates the patient. Can be done by increasing the FiO2 on the aerosol delivery and or resuscitation bag ventilating through the endotube let me just give you a couple big breaths okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get my equipment put together a moment. Prepares the equipment, the catheter setup. Opens the suction kit using sterile technique. Note the uh, insertion of the gloves includes sterile technique ensuring that they're not contaminated. This point, my right hand is going to be my sterile hand. My left hand is going to be my contaminated hand. So I'm going to get the saline and the suction and when ready, no the water is coming up the suction catheter. It's going to lubricate it a little bit. You ready? Disconnects the patient and inserts the catheter. Here I go. Advances until a resistance is heard. Suctions for no more than 15 seconds. Let me give you a couple more breaths. 
Notice that I have the catheter wrapped around my hand, keeping it sterile. I just rinsed it out. I'm going to listen to your lungs again a minute. See if I need to go down again. Let's just put you back together a minute. Still sounds a little bit gurgly in there. May end up, at this point, injection of a sterile saline down the endotube may be beneficial. I'm just going to put a little bit of saline down in your endotracheal tube. You ready? Here we go. Just a little bit of fluid to help loosen up some of that mucus. We'll give you a couple more good breaths of some oxygen. I know that often makes people cough. And then suctions the patient using and maintaining sterile technique. Ensure you do not contaminate the catheter at any point other than with the internal portions of the endotube. Repeating the suction for not greater than 15 seconds. Hyperoxygenates and if necessary uses a manual resuscitation bag. How you doing? Are you okay? Saturation and your pulse are doing well. Let me just listen one more time to you. Assesses the patient. Repositions the patient once you've finished. Your lungs sound good to me. So before I go, what I think I want to do is let me just clean out your mouth a little bit. Get some of that mucus that might be in there. And slide this in those little pockets. Suctioning the patient's back of the throat, the oral pharynx, is often beneficial in removing excessive saliva and other secretions. Okay, that's done for a couple minutes. Hopefully I got some of that mucus out for you. Returns the patient to previous oxygen therapy when the oxygen saturation looks appropriate and cleans up the area. How you doing? You okay? How about if I give you a couple good breaths a minute with the resuscitation bag? Okay. Just going to clean up my mess here a minute. Just turn your oxygen back to where you were. Here's your call bell in case you need the nurses. I will see you after a while. Then records procedure and results of suctioning in the patient's chart. This completes the performance evaluation for endotracheal suctioning using and setup.